angry bird. It's a bank. It's a bank. Hundred and twenty five bucks. Welcome back, my name is Cap. This is Cass. And we're back after a very, very long hiatus. We're back today with a DIY project going to be with this clock. We are going to completely repaint it, refinish it, and make it look amazing. Um, our goal is to change up part of our bedroom. There's a little spot in the bedroom where I would like to have a sitting slash reading slash knitting um, nook and this is going to be part of that piece. We have a brand new chair we just got and I want to make it match. So what we're going to need for a project to redo anything is going to be your project, your color of spray paint, your color paint like for detailing. We have a metallic gold paint. A primer. You don't really need a primer but it makes the colors much better and we prefer our colors to pop whenever we paint them. For anything you don't want painted, just some regular tape. Well, painter's tape. Also for detailing, just a little um, box cutter. Paint brushes are a must. And we're not sure if we're going to be able to get the hardware off or not, but if we are, we're going to take it off and then glue it back on with E6000. This will make it never come off again. So if you're going to use this, make sure that you like what you're going to do with it. Let's get started. Yay! Alright guys, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be doing here today. So the actual main box itself, including the little shelf, is all going to be the color that we chose. It's going to be like a cream color. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, tape everything. So the glass and also the metal. We want the metal to stay the same. Uh, we've already went ahead and took off the top handle on top. It was just screwed in. Really simple. We unscrewed it. There you go. Uh, so that part is going to be easy to leave the same. Um, what else? The uh, things that are going to be difficult to change are going to be the clock and the little itty bitty handle right here on the, no, not this. Oh, you mean? This right here. Because these are nailed, right here. these are nailed in and we can't take them off. We can take them off, but we don't have new nails to bring them in. So we're going to have to leave these on here and tape it. That'll be the difficult part. Another thing that we're going to be doing is this detailing, all of this is going to stay the same. I'm going to take pictures of it, and that is what is going to become this gold. Hence why we need the paintbrushes. So, first, again, we're going to tape over everything here, and then we're going to put the primer on. Primer is going to make all of our colors pop, and then we're going to uh, paint over that with the beige, or the tan, however you like to call it's it. It's an antique white. Uh, there you go. All right. BRB.
So first we're going to wash it up, make sure all the dust is off of it and cat hair that we may have around the house. Um, when you're painting, you really don't want dust or anything like that because later you'll see imperfections. So here we go. Alrighty, so we painted and primed and painted again. Completely different. <laughs> and now we're going to take off the painter's tape. Alright, you want to do that? So I have a bad feeling that it got on the metal. Oh, I know it did. <laughs> it got on both of them. I mean, it's okay. I mean, a little bit. As you can see, we got a little white or off-white right here, and what we're going to end up doing is just painting along the edge right here so we don't have to worry about anything else. It's okay. It looks really nice, and once I get it all touched up, it looks perfect. Um, we have the sides and the back all painted. And uh, as you can see, we have four little holes to put the hardware back on. The hardware is still unpainted. Alrighty, so what else? We gotta do the uh, trim. And we'll be back once it's done. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the detailing, which is um, the gold high rises textured part of the bot of the base of our new white one or white clock I really like the way the crown molding I guess that's what that's called right yeah that these little baubles came out it kind of looks like a wedding cake so in the picture it shows to be these being gold yeah these little bits but like would you want to do like the tips of these as well being gold no you think it's too much? Yeah. Um, we fixed, well, we, uh, we fixed the, you can't see that. Anyway, the, right around here where it wasn't painted, we fixed that. All we did was, because we don't have actual paint, we only have spray paint. I spray painted into a cap, just a bottle cap, until it was about full and just, um, filled in the spaces that were a little lacking. So we have our detailing reference photos that I remembered to take and we're going to do that stuff now. Are you ready? So it begins. All right.
Alrighty, and there it is in all its glory. I'm excited. Yeah, looks really good. I like it. Not too bad for eight dollars. Not at all. Alrighty, guys. Well, just let us know what you want to see us do uh, down below. Um, make sure to follow us, like us on Instagram or not Instagram. Make sure to follow us and like us on Twitter, Facebook, um, Tumblr. And we will see you guys in the next video, whichever we make. Bye. Bay. Burr. Bay. Bye. 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 Bye.